Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to our Wednesday, November 3rd meeting of the Board of Supervisors here at Lower Paxton Township. Thank you for being here. Uh, for the benefit of those members that are attending uh, on uh, via a cable network tonight at home, thank you for being here. I want to give you a quick uh, run through of our agenda for tonight for your benefit. Uh, my name is Sam Miller. I'm Assistant Township Manager and Finance Director here with the Township. So after general items of public comment and uh, basic approval of minutes, there will be an action for an amendment to, uh, amendment number three actually, to the agreement with Property Registration Champions LLC doing business as ProChamps. Under our new business part of the agenda, we will take an action to approve the resolution 2131, 21-31, authorizing execution of a lease finance agreement with Rock Leasing LLC doing business as real lease for a 2021 Ford F550 truck for our public works department through the liquid fuels fund. We'll then have under subdivision and land development an improvement of guarantees. Uh, we will have one established guarantee, two extension requests and one release. And then finally before announcements and adjournment we will have the approval for the payment of bills for the township and the township authority. And again, thank you for being here. Thank you, Mr. Miller. We'll call this meeting of the Lower Paxton Township Board of Supervisors to order. And I uh, would like ask, to ask everyone to please stand for the pledge, which will be led by Supervisor Zumas. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We'll now move to approval of minutes. This for the business meeting held on August 17th, 2021. Is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion. We approve the minutes from August the 17th, 2021 Board of Supervisors meeting. So moved, is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 This is the time set aside for public comment. Uh, public comment is for items not on the agenda tonight. If you would like to address an item on the agenda, we will have time for public comment at that point. Uh, I also would like to announce that, well, we didn't meet in executive session prior to uh, this meeting. Uh, we had a public budget meeting, uh, which just concluded, and we will be meeting in executive session following this meeting. So, Mr. Trish, you seem anxious to come to the podium. John Trish, 600 Prince Street. Uh, earlier today, I made a comment on Facebook about Mr. Henry having something to do with uh, waste management. He, in return, uh, gave a three, four, five paragraph uh, explanation of, I come to these meetings all the time and I watch these meetings every single time. I'm, I'm an old man. I'm trying to do the best I can, and I apologize, Mr. Henry, if I made you to believe that I thought you were getting kickbacks. I never said that. No, no, you were. You Basically, were, you... what I said was, Mr. Henry has something to do with waste management, and the reason I said that was because if you go back and look at the township videos, on the day that the waste management contract was enacted the video starts at the time that Gary, mr gary chrisman opens the board for a vote there was no pledge of allegiance there was no public comment the basic video starts with mr chrisman taking a vote on the waste management contract and you relinquishing your control over the board to him so i apologize for saying that I thought you had something to do with waste management. I had no clue that you were, I knew that you had something to do with the Lincoln Institute. Mm -hmm. I knew you had something to do with politics, with the Republican Party. I had no reason to believe that you were getting kickbacks. The only reason I made the comment I made was the township citizens have no clue when the waste management contract is coming up for renewal. And it was back in 2018 
from my understanding, if I'm, if I'm wrong, as I've said many times, tell me I'm wrong, but it was back in 2018. April we, 3rd, 2018, you're right. And, and you awarded the contract, and there's been extensions. No. Well, there will be extensions. No. Okay, okay then, then why the, not just tell the people what's going on with waste management? Because there are so many complaints between waste management and the mail. And all I was saying is, on my, and you said there, that's the problem with, with. <laughs> Facebook, yeah. Yeah. You said that's the problem with Facebook. Well, the problem with Facebook is, we only hear when we're wrong. And, 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 and maybe I'm wrong, but you, every one of you guys, with the election yesterday and everything, everybody's looking who won, who won. There, there should be a way. I mean, it, it says lower Paxton Township community. And I was just making a comment from what I knew and you, and thank you for saying that I, had, I attend these meetings and I watch these meetings. I do. Yeah, you do. More people So should. I apologize. Mr. Trish, there's no need to apologize. Uh, you were not the person who made the kickback comment. Uh, that person made a comment that the Board of Supervisors was taking kickbacks from waste management, which is not true in any way, shape, or form. And unfortunately, on social media... <laughs> People can make comments with no basis in fact, no proof, and get away with it. Uh, relative to waste management, uh, just for people who are listening now who are wondering what we're even talking about, when that contract uh, came up before this board in April of 2018, yes. uh, I, in fact, recused myself from any discussions uh, involving that contract. Uh, you're correct. Uh, uh, Mr. Chrisman was the vice chairperson of the board at the time. Uh, I relinquished the gavel to him to run the meeting, and when the contract was ultimately approved, I abstained from voting on it uh, because uh, a competitor of waste management, uh, the owner of that firm, had made financial contributions to the nonprofit I, I run. So I viewed that as a conflict of interest, which is why I recused myself and did not participate in the discussion or the vote. Now, having said that, the process, and this is something people need to know, the process is when that contract expired and when it expires the next time, and I don't recall whether it was a three- or four-year contract offhand. 20, 2023. 2023. When the contract expires, we'll do what we did the last time. Um, by the way, my, con my conflict of interest no longer exists because the individual sold the company is no longer involved with it. Um, in 2023... We'll do what we did the last time, which is we will put the contract out for bid. And every waste firm, waste management, Penn Waste, many others, will have an opportunity to bid on it. They'll provide sealed bids to us, which will be opened, and then we'll get the result of those sealed bids. And then the board by law must award the contract to the lowest responsible bidder. Now, some of us may question whether waste management is a responsible bidder in view of some of the issues we've had, but when, the, when this contract does come up for renewal, it will go through an open public bidding process, which is exactly what happened the time before. So there would have been no way at all for kickbacks to be involved, and you know, I took exception to the comments on Facebook because every member of this board is scrupulously honest and for somebody to just make a gratuitous comment like that was inappropriate, uh, and especially relative to, to this particular contract. So there was some discussion, should we allow multiple waste companies to provide service and let people pick whichever one they want? Some municipalities do that. Some municipalities do not. Uh, the disadvantage to it is that you will have trucks coming through your neighborhood on three or four different days with people putting stuff out on different days. It becomes confusing. Um, does it lead to lower prices? Not necessarily. Uh, as I mentioned, we go through a competitive bidding process and that, that is the free market at work uh, in terms of keeping the price as low as we can. So yes, we're going to go through that process again next year. Yes, I understand In that. 2023. That, that wasn't my, yeah. my point for being here 
was because I thought the entire thing that you wrote was about what I said. No. And the only no. thing I no. said was, I thought you had something to do with waste management. Correct. So I apologize for that. Having said that, and with what you just said, it sure would be nice just to keep everything out there in, 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 in the public so that everybody knows what's going on. Because unlike me, they don't watch the township meetings. Yeah. Well, I come here. It, you, you are correct. And, and we, have, we have established multiple platforms, uh, and Mr. Judd can recite them in his sleep, uh, ways that we keep people informed. For example, this meeting's televised live. Uh, as you pointed out, you can go and watch the YouTube video. If you can't watch it live, you can go back and watch it anytime you want. Um, we have written minutes. Uh, we have, you know, we do put information out on Facebook and all sorts of social media. We have Civic Plus. Uh, we have all sorts of email lists people can sign up for to get alerts. Uh, so there are many ways people can be informed, and we proactively try to get people to sign up for these things. Okay. Uh, and relative to waste management, uh, Mr. Stang has been here twice in the last month at that podium uh, answering questions and giving us information. And I watched that Because we have, we have been on him like, you know, like yes. white on rice over the fact that, that we were receiving so many complaints and – Waste management, in our view, was not fulfilling its contract to the township. Uh, and so he came here to answer to that. We believe that many of the problems have been corrected, although not all of them, uh, and are hopeful that uh, waste management will, well, of course, we're going to come to the end of the yard waste season here in a couple weeks anyhow. Uh, but what has occurred with waste management is clearly unacceptable, and the board has been holding them accountable. Okay. Did you so, get the letter uh, in the mail from Waste Management? Yes. The, okay. Yes. Okay. Well, that's yes, what did. triggered the entire it's discussion triggered, today. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not on any of those things, so I didn't know that. Uh, so. Really, Mr. Henry, what triggered the discussion is for the last month and a half or two, people on the com Lower Paxton Township community page mm -hmm. have been complaining and complaining and complaining. Mm -hmm. And I, for one, know that that's the, probably one of the hardest jobs you could have. I lifted, I did terrazzo floors for a living before I retired, before I broke my back. And I lifted hundreds of thousands of pounds a day. Each skid was 7,200 pounds. And you went through that skid three times to, to lay a floor in, in a pharmaceutical or a hospital. So I know what hard work is, mm -hmm. and them guys are lifting, lifting, and lifting, and they don't know one one trip to the next. This is heavy. This is light. They're throwing it in that truck and getting it out of here, and that's fine. And I think they're doing a great job. I've had problems, but I think they're doing a great job for what the circumstances were under. But back to what the the main reason I came here is, I don't want any hard feelings. Oh no, okay? not I at go all. I go for bladder cancer surgery tomorrow Ooh. okay and i came here to apologize because i'm a man of my word i served this country and i just want what's right for the people so let's you know just let it go with that well well first of all thank you for coming here to apologize although it was not necessary uh the the the, the kickback comment was not made by you i was responding to multiple comments uh thank you and maybe i should have separated them a little bit more apologize for interrupting the meeting no no you're always welcome um, and, and best best of luck tomorrow good luck tomorrow i'll go watch it i won't be here okay <laughs> thank you thank you john we'll wait yes ma'am <laughs> please come to the podium and give us your name and address <laughs> Patricia Shaver, 5008 Colorado Avenue, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Mr. Stein was here from Waste Management at the last meeting, and he went blah, 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 and we've got all the problems fixed with the yard waste thing. Everything's fine. We've hired new people, blah, blah, blah. Friday, we put our yard waste out. They didn't come. We called. Saturday, we, it was sitting out. Sunday, it sat out. We called on Monday. Oh, they're going to come maybe today, but probably tomorrow. But if they're not there Monday or Tuesday, they'll be there Wednesday. And in the meantime, what we had in the bags, the bags are like this. 
They were only this much filled with black walnuts. The apartments behind us have a black walnut tree and all the black walnuts fall in our yard and they're kind of heavy. So this much in those big brown paper bags and all the rain got in them mm. and the bags got wet. Mm -hmm. And the guy come and he picked up the bag and he goes and whoop. All the walnuts came out. All over mm -hmm. the street. Mm -hmm. Did he clean them up? No. I had that issue with Mr. Stang. I did email him. He told me they have a shovel and that, because I said, you know, a lot of the stuff was sitting out for a week with the rain. He said that they had a shovel and they would clean it up. So the street was not cleaned up. No, it was not. I have pictures on my phone of what it looked like if you want to see it. Yes, please but anyhow, send them to we, us. We called the township, the township guy, and uh, he offered to call waste management. He said, no, no, no. We had to clean it up because if the cars come and run over it, Ooh. it smushes them into the street, and you got all that. And, and in the meantime, it had been sitting on the sidewalk, and with the rain, the black from the black walnuts stained the sidewalk. Well, that'll go away, but it just I just wanted to let you know when that guy comes in here and says, we did this, we did that, we did the other thing, they didn't do it. No. Uh, so that's yeah. what I wanted to say. We, we, we are aware of that, and we are continuing to put pressure on them um, I know I, I called and uh, talked with our folks one day last week uh, through uh, Meadowbrook. They hadn't picked up. Uh, I, I drive through it every day from my house to work. For a week, I saw the same bag sitting out there. I'm like, well, what's going on? So hopefully when spring comes, their labor problems will have been resolved and people will be back to work. Hopefully. Uh, on the other end, too, you know, their contract's coming up in a year and a half. So anybody else like to address the board? Okay. Well, thank you all. Uh, chairman and board member comments. Uh, the chairman's only comment is to uh, offer a, uh, a heartfelt congratulations to Supervisor Zumas and Supervisor Navarro, uh, who were overwhelmingly reelected uh, yesterday to another six years on the board. And we all are looking forward to continue working with you and uh, uh, the great job that you've been doing here for the last few years will continue. I think Thank uh, you. citizens made a very sound judgment. My psychiatrist appointment is tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your hourly rate's going from 30 to 31 cents an hour, by the way. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and the tax on that will increase. Yeah, yes. Anybody else have a board member comment? Uh, just one. Last Tuesday, the Sioux Authority uh, did a road tour for two and a half hours, Mr. Zumas and myself, um, Mr. Miller, um, Director Weaver, and we have three residents that sit on the Sioux Authority, Mr. Blaine, Mr. Oaks, and uh, Mr. Ramsey. So we were throughout the township for two and a half hours looking at all the stormwater projects and all of the sewer. We went from the bad, we went from the good to the bad to the ugly. <laughs> so, <laughs> but they're, they're working very hard at it. All right. Anybody else? Okay. Manager's report and Mr. Miller's pinch hitting again this evening. <laughs> now, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, obviously, the budgetary process moves forward as we had our meeting this afternoon, uh, actually this, this evening. Uh, we look forward to continuing to refine that to the point we'll be bringing a final uh, budgetary uh, package for approval for advertising here in two weeks. Apart from that, I have no other items. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. That brings us to old business. Uh, the first action is on an amendment number three to the agreement with Property Registration Champions LLC doing business as ProChamps. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Kevin Seidel of ProChamps. I live at uh, 2317 Scarsboro Drive here in Blair Paxson Township. Um, we've been working as your vendor for uh, vacant and foreclosed property registration since 2017, late 2017. Since then, we've registered about 1,000 properties and returned $203,000 in registration fees back to the township. This is a service that comes at no expense. We don't send you a bill. We just send you checks for your portion of the registration fee. And we work with Nick um, Garrett every, every so often to get information from him so he can keep us informed on what you know that we don't know because we run this from a registration call center in florida so we're not walking through the township looking in windows to see what's vacant uh, nick kind of gives us a guide there but uh it's a great program we're real proud of the work that we've done here in lower paxton township and what's before you is a one-year extension of the current agreement 
and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. And this is um, the third year of three years? Correct. So after this, what do we do? New contract. New contract. Um, and we can do a contract that is um, automatically renewal. Um, it basically, uh, I don't have to come before you every 12 months. It would be automatically re automatically renewed unless one of the parties says that they don't want to do it anymore. And then that, at that point, it would be a 30-day out. Um, so maybe we can explore that on the next contract renewal if your solicitor is okay with it. Well, you're doing a great job, 203000 That's a lot of money. Yeah. No, it's, it should help. I mean, it's a, it's a revenue-increasing um, program, which is, I imagine, most of the ones you have come before you are not like that. Mm -hmm. We don't take, we give back. So, And it's a great service. I, I know Nick uses it a lot. Of your other staff does as well. And you take 100 out of the 300, right? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. That's how we make money. We also make money on late fees if, um, if they are incurred. Mm -hmm. um, we take a percentage, a small percentage, but um, yeah, well, hundred dollars of every registration. So I like to say we sing for our supper. We're not going to make any money unless <laughs> registration. So we do everything we can to get them. Okay, great. Anybody else have any questions for Kevin? No, I'm like I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, we like money. We like money. <clears throat> Money's good. Is there a motion then on the amendment? I'll make the motion, Mr. Chairman. I move that we approve amendment number three to the agreement with property registration champions, pro champs. This will be the third year renewal of the three years renewal for the existing terms. So moved, is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 There you go, Kevin. Okay. Pretty nice easy night. You. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Keep, uh -huh. up, keep up the good work. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Under item, uh, under new business, we have uh, an item. We need to take action to approve resolution 21-31, this authorizing the execution of a lease finance agreement with ROC Leasing, LLC, doing business as real lease for a 2021 Ford F-550 truck. Any questions about that? Relatively straightforward. Is this... Public works. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Do we know what the interest rate is for this lease, Mr. Miller? Do we have that information? Three point seven three percent. Three point seven three. That's correct. And this is this is a public works vehicle, public which works. will be okay. through the liquid fuels fund. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Paid for by liquid fuels money. Any other questions? Mr. Zumas? Nope. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay, hearing none, is there a motion to take action on the resolution? Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we approve resolution 2021-30 authorizing the execution of a lease finance agreement with ROC Leasing LLC DBA Real lease for a 2021 Ford F550 truck. So moved, is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 This takes us to subdivision and land development plans, uh, of which there are four. Any questions or comments regarding those? Is there a motion to approve? Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we improve, we approve the improvement guarantees. 4454 Augusta Drive, 131 Coke Lane, Stray Winds Farms, Phase 5C, 9B, and 9A, 661 Parkwood East, Parkway East. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 This takes us to the payment of bills for Lower Paxton Township and the Lower Paxton Township Authority. Mr. Treasurer. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move that we approve all the bills except for receipt 12-106 uh, that we do as a separate individual vote. That's to Magisterial District 12-106. Yes. That one will be excluded. Is there a motion to pay all the bills except for that particular one? So moved. You did move. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 And you like to make a motion on that bill? 
I make, make a motion that we do a uh, voice count for the bill. You want to? 12-106. Okay. Uh, we have a motion to approve uh, the bill to Magisterial District 12-1-06. And is there a second? Second. Seconded. Uh, voice vote, please. Or uh, roll call vote, please. <laughs> Mrs. Lindsay. Abstain. Mr. Zumas. Aye. Mr. Henry. Aye. Mr. Jed. Aye. Mr. Navarro. Aye. Okay. Are there any further announcements? Hearing none, our next meeting will be on Tuesday, November 9th, and it'll be at 7 o'clock right here in this meeting room. If there's no further business, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Meeting adjourned.